Christmas? <laughs> okay. Are we looking for the Grinch? He's gonna help him out today? Good job. You're such a good boy, Max. You're the best reindeer. <laughs> to you about a guy whose heart never quite grew. Come, sit very close. I know we'll have fun. <laughs> now, does anybody know the name of the mean old one? Do you guys know it? What is it? The Grinch. That's right. Very good. This is my favorite book I like to read to my class at school. It's called How the Grinch Stole Christmas by Dr. Seuss. <laughs> Every who down in Whoville liked Christmas a lot, but the Grinch, who lives north of Whoville, did not. The Grinch hated Christmas the whole Christmas season. Now, please don't ask me why. No one quite knows the reason. It could be that his head wasn't screwed on just right. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Mr. Grinch. Or it could be, perhaps, that his shoes were too tight. I know you don't wear shoes, Mr. Grinch, but I think that the most likely reason of all may have been that his heart was two sizes too small, for he knew that every who down beneath was busy now, hanging a mistletoe wreath, and they're hanging their stockings. He snarled with a sneer, tomorrow is Christmas, it's practically here. And he growled with his Grinch fingers nervously drumming, I must find some way to stop Christmas from coming. Then he got an idea. <gasps> an awful idea, Mr. Grinch. The Grinch got a wonderful, awful idea. I know just what to do. The Grinch laughed in his throat, and he made a quick Santa Claus hat and a coat. And he chuckled and chuckled. What a great Grinch trick with this coat and this hat. I look just like St. Nick. All I need is a reindeer. The Grinch looked around, but since reindeers are scarce, there were not to be found. But did that stop the old Grinch? Did it? No, the Grinch simply said, if I can find a reindeer, I'll make one instead. And he called his dog Max, Max, and he took some red thread and he tied a big horn on the top of his head. And he loaded some bags and some empty sacks on a ramshackle sleigh and he hitched up old Max. Then the Grinch said, giddy up. Then the sleigh started down towards the homes where all the who's lay as who's in their town. <sighs> and he slid down the chimney. <laughs> A rather tight pitch. <laughs> but if Santa could do it, then so could the Grinch. Then he slithered and slung with a smile most unpleasant. Around the whole room he took every present. Popguns and bicycles, roller skates and drums, checkerboards, tricycles, popcorns and plums. He cleaned out the icebox as quick as a flash. Why, the Grinch even took their last can of who hash. Then he stuffed all the food up the chimney with glee. And now, grinned the Grinch, I will stuff up the tree. I'm not sure how he did it because the tree was really big. And he did the same thing to the other whose houses, leaving crumbs much too small for the other whose mouses. It was a quarter past dawn, all the who's still a bed, all the who's still a snooze when he bucked up his leg. Three thousand feet up to the side of Mount Crumpet, he rode his boat to the tip top to dump. <coughs> Boo-boo to all the who's, he was grinchously humming. They're finding out now that no Christmas is coming. 
they're just waking up, I know just what they'll do. Their mouths will hang open a minute or two. And all the who's down in Hoover will all cry, boo-hoo. Mr. Grinch, that's really mean. That's a noise. Grinch the Grinch, that I simply must hear. So he paused and he, the Grinch put his hand up to his ear. Do you guys hear that sound? Do you guys hear it? And he did hear a sound rising over the snow. It started in low and then it started to grow. But the sound wasn't sad. Why, the sound sounded glad. Every who down in Whoville, the tall and the small, was singing without any presents at all. He hadn't stopped Christmas from coming. It came. Somehow or other, it came just the same. And the Grinch with his Grinch feet, I scold, and the <coughs> snow stood puzzling and puzzling. How could it be so? It came without ribbons. It came without tags. It came without packages, boxes, or bags. Then he puzzled and puzzled till his puzzler was sore. And the Grinch thought of something he hadn't before. Maybe Christmas, he thought doesn't come from a store. Maybe Christmas, perhaps, means a little bit more. And what happened then? Well, here in Whoville, did we say that the Grinch's small heart grew three sizes that day. Hooray! <laughs> and the true meaning of Christmas came through, and the Grinch found the strength of ten Grinches plus two. With a smile in his soul, he descended Mount Crumpet, cheerily blowing on his trumpet. He rode into Whoville and brought back their toys. The Grinch brought back the flute to the Who girls and boys. He brought everything back, all the food for the feast, and he, he himself, the Grinch, carved the roast beast. Welcome Christmas, bring you cheer to all the Who's far and near. Christmas Day is in our grasp, so as long as we have hands to clasp, Christmas Day will always be as long as we have feet. Chris, welcome Christmas while we stand heart to heart, hand in hand. How the Grinch stole Christmas by Dr. Seuss, the end. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Happy Hubilation to you all. Now I would love to meet all of you. So if you would like to meet me too, meet me right there for a picture or two. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. It was a good story. Oh, thank you so much. I love it every time.
A VR? Whoa, which one? The Oculus, perhaps? Yeah, you wanna live in this virtual realm? Better than the real world, that's what I say. Logan's gonna put that thing on for Christmas and never return. 16 years later, he's gonna take it off. Where am I? Coming back out, he's a grown man! It's like a Twilight Zone episode. He has no idea what that is. What's the Twilight episode? Yeah, never mind, we're not even gonna ask. Yeah, nothing. That's right, how are you guys? You're chilling? Good, good. Good, Dad, yeah. fine. How are you? Ma? Great, you're in line? Keeping them kids in line? Totally. You gonna make sure these ones look at the camera? Totally. Say, Quinn, look right there! That's the camera, Quinn, look at it! Ready? All right, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, let's do it. We'll be down here with the chilling. Yes, on this side, my boy. <laughs> Very nice, thank you, thank you. Good job, Quinn! Good job, Logan! Bye, hey! Thanks, buddy. Oh. See you later. What? Huh? Yeah, thank you, I know. I don't need your approval. I know I did a great job. Yeah, thank you. Hilarious. Hello. Hi. Hello! You've got my colors on. What's up with that? It's a good look for you. Ah, thanks. Yeah, you're a little shy. Well, these two are. Hello. Any life behind those eyes? I don't know that I'm seeing any intelligent life forms anywhere on this side. I think all we've got is. Oh, greetings! Wow, finally. What are we? This is like uh, we're like we're we're like JFK and that other guy, just shaking hands all day long. Yeah, what a firm grip. All right, you can let go now, weirdo. Yeah, usually it's like two maximum, but that's fine. You have no social skills, that's all right. Just like me! Come here, come here, come here, come here. Everybody's getting a picture right now. Yeah, tuck in. Oh, sorry, I know, I made it weird. Look, you're in the back, you stay up. Back. No, whatever. Tall kids, get out of here. Very nice. Hi. Hi. What's up, Mario Kart? Good to see you. Yep. How are you? Uh, I'm pretty good, how are Lovely. you? Oh, I'm swell. I'm just here making the day go by. Do you, you like know? it down here by Jurassic Park? Well, I feel more akin to my people. I've always yeah. related more to the Jurassic era oh. than the Who era. Interesting. You know, me and that thing from that movie were like, we're only three steps away generationally. <laughs> oh, I see. On that DNA you're ladder, we really... have like three missing genomes between the yeah. two of us. Oh, so you're like the miss missing A little bit, yeah. yeah. It goes T-Rex, Grinch, Chicken. Okay. Right? That's yeah. like they say That's that like the living ancestor of the chicken is the T-Rex. Vice versa. No, T-Rex no. is the chicken. You get it! I got it. I'm yeah. in the middle. You understand. Do you know the theme song yet? Of, of this? The Jurassic Park. Nah, 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 nah. Jurassic Park, a big T-Rex eating the thingy. That's how it goes, right? It was, yeah, it yeah really it's on, it's on TV excellent. every once in a while at Mount Crumpet, so I listen to the theme Yo, song if I can help you it. Just, like, been no! I'm it. better than that. No, 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 so no, no. You already knew That's it. That's right, I already knew okay, it. Okay. Sam Neill, call me, okay? Whenever that third sequel money starts drying up, you can give me a call. I'll <laughs> make a little appearance. Oh, maybe you can take over for Chris Pratt. Something like, well, you know how Chris is. They're calling him a lot these days. They don't uh, call me nearly as much as they I call I really Chris. wish they would call somebody else. I know. Let's not talk industry. It's getting weird. Okay. Let's take pictures.